Thank you, pipes and drums, and thank you all for joining us at the welcome ceremony for the Star Spangled Spectacular. We are here, of course, celebrating the 200th anniversary of our national anthem. I'm Mindy Becerra, anchor for WBIL-TV and proud media partner of Star Spangled 200. I believe now we're going to have the captains, our visiting captains, come to the stage. I believe that's everyone. And now I would like to ask the platform party to join me on stage. Rear Admiral Vic Mercado, David Millman, Maryland Market President for Bank of America, and our mayor, Mayor Stephanie Rawlings-Blake. And I will now ask bosun mate seaman Eric Huber to join us on stage to pipe the ceremonial beginning of tonight's event. Thank you, Bosun Mate Huber. I will now ask the audience to please rise as the Baltimore City Honor Guard presents the colors. Please remain standing for the singing of our national anthem.
thank you very much, musician first class Benjamin Bransford, for that lovely rendition of the national anthem. And thank you, Navy Ceremonial Band, for your wonderful performance preceding the ceremony. What a glorious evening here in Baltimore. It is just perfect. What a glorious welcome to our visiting captains. Star Spangled Spectacular is a tremendous opportunity for Baltimore to tell the story of the birth of our national anthem, a song that is sung with love today, from Little League games to Major League games to moments of national tragedy and moments of national pride. This is our week to shine. If you're following us on social media tonight, please know that we are on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Our hashtag is Star Spangled 200. Go ahead. Okay. If you say so, we are sitting. I'm sorry. Everybody looks so nice standing up. And, and now it's my honor to welcome our first speaker, Rear Admiral Vic Mercado. Rear Admiral Mercado is the commander of Carrier Strike Group 8, Rear Admiral. Thank you, Mindy. That was the mayor taking charge up here, <laughs> getting everybody to sit down. Madam Mayor, uh, Mr. Millman, uh, Admiral Metric right here in the front who commands Coast Guard District 5. I see Admiral Rich just showed up who commands Naval District Washington. Admiral Brad Williamson is behind me who commands the NATO group, uh, the ships who are here. Anyways, good evening. What, what a great evening. And, and what a great gathering for a real incredible event. I know getting to today has been a long three-year journey and the result of a great deal of hard work and dedication by many individuals from Baltimore and great support from the governor's office. The Navy is proud to be your partner and to be here with you today. I'd like to thank, of course, Mayor Rawlings Blake and the city of Baltimore, Governor O'Malley and the state of Maryland for their really enormous effort in hosting this commemoration and for their commitment to help tell the story of the War of 1812, the birth of our national anthem, and essentially the rebirth and the first real test of the United States Navy. I'd also like to thank Mr. David Millman, Bank of America's Maryland president, and all of the public and private organizations who have given so much and worked so hard to make this celebration possible. Lastly, but definitely not least, I'd like to welcome the crews, commanding officers, and captains from all the U.S. and partner nation warships and tall ships berthed throughout the Baltimore Harbor. I can tell you the harbor really looks fantastic. Just, just a few weeks ago during the fleet exercise off the coast in the Atlantic, I had the wonderful opportunity to sail with many of the captains and warships here today. Our NATO partners from the standing NATO maritime group, including the German frigate Niedersachsen and the Turkish frigate Kemal Reis. Also operating as part of this fleet exercise was the Canadian destroyer Athabaskan, who was a worthy enemy uh, and played that part very well. Wonderful captains and wonderful warships, and I am a first-hand witness to that fact. It is also good to see our partners from the United Kingdom the Argyle and from Norway, Fritjof Nansen here today. <laughs> lastly, <laughs> lastly, there are no stronger partners to the United States Navy than our fellow sea services, the United States Marine Corps. If you go out to Oak Hill or Choctaw County, you'll see their, what, just a, a little minutia of their capability and also the United States Coast Guard Admiral Metric has double duty with his Coast Guard ships on display and, and also keeping us safe and keeping this a, a safe event. Let me get parochial for a minute. I am in the Navy to discuss our U.S. Navy ships here this week. They represent the proud history of service to our great nation that was born from the War of 1812 and that continues today. First, the USS Oak Hill, LSD-51, commissioned in 1944, earning five battle stars in World War II and six battle stars during Vietnam. During World War II, the Oak Hill played a prominent role 
and arguably, arguably the largest maritime battle in our nation's history, the Battle of Lady Gulf, which proved to be decisive in the War of the Pacific. Which brings me to our next ship, the USS Lady Gulf, one of our Aegis cruisers, probably one of the most powerful warships we have today, commissioned in 1987 and a veteran of Oper Operation Desert Storm, Operations Allied Force in Kosovo, operations in Libya, and anti-piracy in the o Indian Ocean. Leading me to the USNS Choctaw County, which was just delivered to our Navy last year. Choctaw County is fast, flexible, and maneuverable. She can deliver large amounts of personnel and cargo in very shallow water. We are still learning what this ship can do for us in the future in a variety of missions, and I had the privilege of riding with Choctaw County and our Secretary of the Navy into this inner harbor. Lastly, our yard patrol craft from my alma mater, the United States Naval Academy, these YPs help train our seed corn and future leaders of our fine Navy. And rounding out the, the Navy's participation are, of course, the Blue Angels, our flight demonstration team, who will be performing over Baltimore, and the Leapfrogs, who will be jumping into Baltimore venues throughout the week. In total, about 2,600 international and U.S. sailors, Marines, Coast Guardsmen, and tall ship crew members, 33 ships, and about a dozen aircraft are helping Baltimore celebrate the Star Spangled Banner Spectacular. It's a rare opportunity for us to take some time to enjoy the great hospitality that Baltimore has shown the United States Navy over the years, but more importantly, give back and show our appreciation for that hospitality. I invite everyone here to come out and visit all of the ships and spend some time with the sailors whom we are all very proud of and are proud to serve. Again, it is really great to be with you today and this week, and thank you for welcoming our fleet of ships to Baltimore. <laughs> Madam Mayor, on behalf of the Navy, and my command, Carrier Strike Group 8, and as a token of our appreciation for the great relationship between the U.S. Navy and the City of Baltimore, and for your tireless efforts in making this celebration a reality, I would like you to present you with this small gift. The inscription reads, it's a clock, inscription reads, presented on behalf of Commander Carrier Strike Group 8 to the Honorable Stephanie Rawlings Blake, Mayor of Baltimore, in commemoration of the 200th anniversary of the Star Spangled Banner, September 10th, 2014. Thank you very much, Rear Admiral Mercado. And now I am pleased to introduce David Millman, Bank of America's Maryland president. Bank of America is the sponsor of this evening's beautiful ceremony, David Millman. Thank you, Mindy. And for all of you up there, the Orioles' magic number is now eight. I have no war stories, so cheap applause is all I'm going to get. So greetings to the mayor. Greetings to Admiral Mercado and for all the visiting captains who are here this evening. At Bank of America, our heritage is woven in our name. Therefore, it's only fitting that we partner with you to welcome the tall ships to Baltimore as we celebrate the 200th anniversary of the Star Spangled Battle Star Spangled Banner and the Battle of Baltimore. We're proud to sponsor the event and to participate in this bicentennial. Now, we don't have any war stories and we can't talk a lot about ships. However, a factoid that might be fairly impressive is that, did you know in 1814, with British troops advancing on uh, one of our banks, advancing on, on uh, Fort McHenry, one of our shareholders, our stakeholders, Charles Carroll, hurried to the executive mansion, also known as the White House, 
and escorted Lady Dolly Madison to safety, rescuing the Declaration of Independence and Gilbert Stuart's famous portrait of George Washington in the process. It's the power in Bank of America stock. <laughs> We're honored to be here today because our brand is a symbol of America, and in 1814, the sight of the flag inspired in Francis Scott Key the words that gave new significance to generations of Americans who have invested in their flag in their own meanings and in their own memories. Today, our logo, the Bank of America flag, is a symbol of our connection and our commitment to communities. On behalf of Bank of America, we congratulate you on the Star Spangled Spectacular and look forward to touring ships, having fun, and celebrating over the coming days. It's our belief that life is better when we're connected. Thank you. Thank you very much, David Millman, for your support for this event. It is now my pleasure to introduce a wonderful supporter and champion of all things Baltimore, all things Star Spangled, the mayor of Baltimore, Stephanie Rollins Blake. Good evening, everyone. I want to thank Mindy. You are doing an absolutely fantastic job. I love your Star Spangled Sparkle. You know, it's one of those things when you see, you, I, I watch you every morning, so I feel like I, I talk to you all the time. I mean, I do, but you just don't answer back all, all the time. But I, I, it is, uh, I appreciate the uh, support of WBL and you sharing your time and your talent with this momentous occasion for Baltimore. I want to uh, first uh, say thank you to uh, Rear Admiral Mercado for the lovely gift, and I believe I have a gift in, in return. And you will see it is a flag with the ins inscription saying it was flown over. It's an official flag that was flown over uh, Fort McHenry. So you have a piece of history right there. Thank you for your energy and your devotion to this event. I have to say, Rear Admiral, we could not crack the Buckeye a few weeks ago, but we have another shot in December when, when uh, Navy faces Army, and I think we're gonna come out on top on that one. I would also like to take a moment to thank Bank of America for sponsoring tonight's welcome ceremony, as well as our presenting sponsors, AT&T, and our founding partners, Papa John's and Co Constellation Energy, and the dozens of state and city agencies and organizations that work to put this together. This, you know, there's so many people and so many organizations that had a part in this success. And that's what we do great in Baltimore. We come together for this type of event where we can celebrate our history. And I'm just so proud that everyone, whatever they were called upon to do to make this happen, they volunteered. They came together and we made it happen. So today, we officially kick off the Star Spangled Spectacular. And it is my pleasure to welcome all of the visiting captains to Baltimore. We are delighted to have you here and we are excited to share this moment with you all. To our visitors and to our guests, welcome to Baltimore, hon. I guess it should have been Balmer, right? I almost got it. I, I, <laughs> I hope you spend the next week experiencing all that Baltimore has to offer, from our city's flourishing arts and cultural scene to our numerous family-friendly opportunities, thriving nightlife, and of course, our historical attractions. I invite you to explore all of Baltimore and discover your own niche right here. The city of Baltimore's amazing history spans nearly three centuries. And for the people of Baltimore, our history is a serious point of pride, with good reason. Shortly after, the, uh, after representatives from 13 British colonies announced self-evident truth, that declaring that they would become free and independent states, they looked to Baltimore to avoid capture by the British. 
And less than 50 years later, it was Baltimore that served as the last line of defense as a fledgling nation fought for survival against the largest naval power the world had ever seen. And it was in Baltimore's harbor that a lawyer from Carroll County sent, uh, sent to negotiate the release of prisoners became a spectator as cannon fire illuminated the sky and inspired a timeless verse. Baltimore's history is full of remarkable stories that show the resilience of a people and of our nation. For the past few years, our city has become home to spectacular events celebrating the defense of our homeland and the birth of our national anthem. But it all led up to this week. The 200th anniversary of our national anthem is a celebration not only of our great city, but of the American spirit. For this celebration, we're offering a unique glimpse into the history of the War of 1812, with dozens of tall ships and vessels docked throughout the Inner Harbor and Fells Point. We will host free tours and floating maritime museums. Our spectacular villages, excuse me, <clears throat> will give visitors even more opportunities to explore our rich history. And we will feature live entertainment and activities for the whole family. Right across the water at Fort McHenry will host a tribute to a diverse collection of American uh, music and not to mention a prime viewing location for the Star Spangled Air Show with the Blue Angels. If you have never seen the Blue Angels, you are in for something special. There's also an opportunity to experience Francis Scott Key's view that historic night and the evening of the Star Spangled Fireworks. Our Star Spangled Spectacular will be a patriotic festival like no other. Of course, with so many expected to join us for this festival, we are focused on making sure that we provide an efficient and a safe experience for everyone. And in that spirit, we've worked vigorously to provide multiple safe and secure transportation options. I'll say that again, options other than your vehicle. All right, when you, if you're stuck in traffic, don't say I didn't tell you. Lots of options, lots, lots. It will make getting around Baltimore much easier. And I want to remind everyone that visitors and residents alike are strongly encouraged to walk to a bike, to use mass transportation options like the Charm City Circulator during the, this week-long event. I'm going to give it to you one more time. Walk, bike, Charm City Circulator. All right, we're all in one accord. All right. For more information about the Star Spangled Spectacular, please visit starspangled200.com. Together, I know that we are going to have a safe, secure, and spectacular experience for everyone. I am so excited to be a Baltimorean this week, uh, most of all. And I hope for all of the Baltimoreans, well, you got enough red, white, and blue to last you till Sunday, because we're going to have a good time. Thank you so much. Thank you, Madam Mayor. I like what you're wearing, too. I always do. And by the way, everything you do need to know, as she mentioned, is on starspangled200.com. So make sure you check it out. We'll now continue the ceremony with the traditional exchange of gifts between the host city, which is us, and the visiting captains. The captains will receive a bicentennial flag from the mayor, and before they depart, they will also receive gifts from Star Spangled 200 and also Bank of America. So I will ask the platform party and the captains to rise and proceed to your positions. I think we're ready to begin. First, help me welcome Rear Admiral Brad Williamson, Commander Standing NATO Maritime Group 2. From Canada, welcome Commander Matthias Plashka from HMCF at the Baskin. And from Germany, welcome Commander Kurt Leonards from FGS Niedersachsen. From Norway, please welcome Commander Ud Erling Furo from N N H N O M S Fritjof Nansen. 
From Turkey, welcome Captain Fatih Gureshi from TCG Kemal, Kemal Reyes. It's a tough one. Here's an easier one. From United Kingdom, welcome Commander Paul Hammond from HMS Argyle. From the United States, please welcome these naval vessels and their captains, Commander Brian Carmichael from USS Oak Hill. <laughs> Captain Jose Del Foss from USNS Choctaw County. <laughs> Lieutenant Colonel Steve Pritchard, Commanding Officer, 1st Battalion, 10th Marine Regiment. Captain Dean Rawls from USS Leyte Golf. <laughs> Lieutenant Commander Andrew Story from the US Naval Academy. <laughs> and now please help me welcome the tall ships and other participating vessels here to Baltimore. Captain Mark Falstick from Adventurer from Easton, Maryland. Lieutenant Bart Bissler from Bay Hydro 2 from Solomons, Maryland. <laughs> Captain Paul Schaub from Celebration from Middle River, Maryland. <laughs> Captain Rick Carrion from Elf, St. Michael's, Maryland. <laughs> Captain Linda Gunn from Farewell from Baltimore, Maryland. Ulysses Custodio from El Galleon and Lucia from Seville, Spain. Al Panessa from Gazella from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Captain Lauren Morgans from Kalmar Nickel from Wilmington, Delaware. Captain Jeff Tour from Linthicum from Baltimore, Maryland. Captain Eric Losey from Lynx from Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Commander Ricardo Ramos from Noah Okeanos Explorer. Captain Jan Miles from Pride of Baltimore II from Baltimore, Maryland. Captain Joe Huber from Reynolds from Baltimore, Maryland. Hard Kohler from NS Savannah from Baltimore, Maryland. <laughs> Captain Sarah Harrard from Sigsby from Baltimore, Maryland. <laughs> Captain Lloyd Robbins from Vigilant from Elkridge Landing, Maryland. <laughs> and Captain Paul Itzel from Witchcraft from Pasadena, Maryland. Thank you all so very much for joining us this evening. And once we're finished with the procession, we're going to bring back our mayor, Mayor Stephanie Rawlings Blake. See, that's our Charm City hospitality right there. You're going to enjoy this whole week. All right, so I want to thank each and every one of you for joining us here this evening. And now, we officially kick off the Star Spangled Spectacular. Let the celebrations begin! Yeah. 